Hello, and in this third Blockly for Pickaxe tutorial, we'll show you how to read input values from an analog device, such as an LDR, a light dependent resistor. Connect power and your AX27 cable to the project board. We're using the AX130 for this demonstration. Place a read analog to variable block inside a forever do loop. Change the input identifier to C4 which is where the LDR is located on the project board and you can change the variable name if you wish I'm leaving it as it is because I'm only using one variable in this build. Select the if then else block from the variables selection and to start with I'm going to make the program change the state of an LED when the value of variable A is less than 40. Place a turn output block next to the then line and change the identifier to C2. This is where the green LED is located on the project board. And set the output status to ON. Place another turn output block next to the ELSE line and change these attributes to C2 and OFF respectively. To see how the final project will work, you can run the simulator and simulate the change in analog value by right clicking on the C4 location in the simulator window and then changing the value using your cursor and left mouse button. When C2 changes colour in the simulator, it represents the LED switching on. We don't know for sure yet if the value of 40 is correct for our purpose, and so we need to get the editor to read the actual values from the LDR on the project board. To do this, we will introduce the debug block and place it after the read analog block. We will have to send this code to the chip for it to work, and we do this by selecting program. With the AX130 project board, the red LED channel is also used for the data transfer, and this is why you see the red LED active during the test. Once the program has been transferred successfully, the debug information will display automatically, and the LDR values are displayed next to the variable's name. As I limit the amount of light hitting the LDR, you can see the values drop. In the Blockly app version, you have to request the debug information by selecting Debug from the Pickaxe menu. The analog values are shown in this column. Even when I block out the light, the lowest LDR value was about 64, and therefore the LED did not change state. So I will change the less than value to something higher than 64. I'm going to use 75. We will have to send the revised code to the chip again, so it can be retested. Now that I'm happy with the new value of 75, I can remove the debug block from the build and send the new code to the chip. Now the final code has been sent to the chip, you can remove the AX27 cable. 